Hello everyone, it's a new week and it's time for sports here on WWAY. I'm Dustin Dorsey. The USA Track and Field Region 3 Junior Olympics four-day competition ended and the Port City Track Club brought multiple regional championships back to the city of Wilmington. The Port City Track Club said that they wanted to show the country who they are and they certainly did that this weekend. Six regional championships were captured over the weekend for the club. Last year, the team brought 11 athletes to the big dance. This year, they are bringing 19 athletes to the upcoming nationals. And head coach Rod Bell says he could not be happier for the result for his athletes. To see the hard work and the dedication that the kids put in and, and it paying off. Because again, in track practice, they hate the coaches. But once they see the work ethic, well, once they see the work that they put in, pays off on the track. I mean, they, you can see when they come home with the medals and the, they call it the bling bling and, and things like that. So it was pretty exciting. The team will head to Kansas this weekend. And for the full list of winners and how you can help them get to nationals, head to our website. The regular season for the Wilmington Post 10 baseball team and the Legion League is now complete. The playoffs are ready to begin with Wilmington holding the top seed. The team from the Port City finished up the year with a 15 and 3 overall record and they will be facing off against another team from our area. Whiteville Post 137 will play Wilmington in a three game semifinal series. Due to rain delays, game one will be held at Buck Hardy Field tomorrow at 7. Two will be played at West Columbus High School Wednesday with the third game to be played Thursday if necessary. The Cape Fear Roller Girls are gearing up for their next home bout. It's a double header and it will benefit a nonprofit that will help kids who are abused. It all goes down July 22nd at Jelly Beans Family Skate Center on Oleander Drive. The Cape Fear Roller Girls are teaming up with the Carousel Center to raise money and awareness for the charity. Doors open at 6 p.m. for the double header with Fayetteville's Rogue Roller Girls. Organizers say they chose the Carousel Center due to the care and compassion they provide to the children who have suffered physical, emotional, and psychological abuse. The three representatives for the Wilmington Sharks hit the field this evening to represent the East team in the Coastal Plain All-Star League, League All-Star Game. And it was a good night for the East as they get the victory over West 2-1. Our Sharks represented Wilmington pretty well overall in the win. Luke Morgan went one for one with a walk. Riley Knudsen failed to get a hit but made a great diving catch at first. And John struck out one, or struck out one in two-thirds of an innings pitched. And last note of the night, some late-breaking news. Blake Walston of New Hanover High School has committed to play for NC State in 2018. One of the best for New Hanover, one of my favorites to cover. Congratulations, Blake. 